Oh, dear lord. Welcome back. You may have wondered if between the last episode and this one I took a break to, like, calm my nerves and get myself centered again. The answer is no. Still hanging on by a thread. Still ready to snap at a moment's notice. And I'm just gonna push forward. And now we've got some random Japanese level with no description. That's great. Hilarious, dude. Try to bait me into that. Okay, grab the wave. Is this... Is this the level? The level is just going over bridges? Naked pipe? Disgusting. How dare you put a naked pipe in here, quite frankly. I guess just go down here and fight Bowser Jr. I hate this game. I don't- I, I think- I think I really don't enjoy this game. I have to question if I like this game or not. And time and time again, I think- I think I actually don't like this game. There was a fire flower? You didn't spawn a fire flower for me, dude. Here, dude, I'm even going down there, dude. I'm staying up here. Alright, I'll go down here. That fireball, I feel like, should not have hit me the way it did. But, you know, whatever. Agree to disagree. Hey, where'd that mushroom come from? Oh, he walked up from over here. Hmm. Naked pipe? Half naked pipe? What even is the point of that then? Are you gonna hit me with you're gonna hit me with a Goomba? You're hilarious. My god, you are truly a master of level design. Uns like never before seen. Is this level actually garbage? Okay, so there's a key somewhere. Could be in a hidden block. Could be Could be literally anywhere. Could be any numerous number of places. I quite frankly don't have the time, patience to find it. So I can't go through there, and if I do, it makes me take damage. I can make it back over here. I figure this pipe is the only reasonable place it would be. I think I'm dead. I think I just got killed. Okay. This is like actual trash, dude. Yep. Ooh, I, I really thought I was gonna be soft locked. I'm, I'm genuinely surprised I was able to make it past there. Wonder, part of me wonders if there's a way to make that jump. I don't think there would be, but it seems like it's just close enough to really, really make you wonder. All right, what other garbage is this level gonna have for me? A Bowser fight, and I have to beat Bowser. Whatever, Bowser fights are stupid easy. I'm gonna get right up in your face and spam fireball. Wow, so tough, very, very difficult. More naked pipes, by the way. Uh, it's a bad level, it was a pretty bad level. It was not good. I shouldn't have died to it at all, but we made a profit on lives, which is all that really matters at the end of the day. But just in general, like, uninspired, no clear theming, no good ideas, no nothing, just just the most bland level ever. Like, I, I'm not even gonna boo it because it's so easy, like, whatever, leave it in the rotation for endless, let some other poor bastard get a hold of the level and play it. Uh, they probably won't enjoy it, but maybe they'll get two or three extra lives off of it. And you know what? Sometimes that's all you really need. Okay, this level is just gonna be spin jumps. Shouldn't be too hard, I say, as I'm dying. I think we got a good chance. Dude, I'm telling you, man, Japanese levels love New Super Mario Brothers spinning on piranha plants. It is like the number one game design aspect I see from Japanese levels. It was a Japanese level, right? I'm not crazy? Okay. I was like, if I miss all that flag and just started stereotyping, I'm gonna get in so much trouble. Gotta be a little careful. It's not like a lot of danger, but as you can tell from that last thing, it's pretty easy to screw it up. Cool, blind jump. I love blind jumps. I mean, am I supposed to go to the right? Am I supposed to go down? Cool. I hate blind jumps, dude. At least it's not as bad as it could have been, though. It's not as bad as it could have been. 
That level was very weird too. I'm not sure how that qualifies as an expert level either. Wish I could have had a couple more one-ups. Again, if you don't put multiple one-ups at the end of your level, I'm pretty disappointed. But hey, after a devastatingly terrible start to this run, we've gotten back up to seven lives, which is pretty good. I think it's only a particularly shame because we could have easily gotten past that first level with only one or two deaths. We just... Something about it, man. I don't know. Ah, darn. I, I was like so in my head. I was like, okay, I'm doing really well. I like... You ever feel like your timing's just a slight fraction off, like you're not in the groove, but you haven't messed up yet? That's how I felt. I felt like something about my timing was slightly off, but I couldn't quite place it. God, dude. I don't know why the solo one is so much harder for me than the, the multi ones. Multi ones I like never mess up on. All right, let's maximum concentration. Let's fly through this level. I have a bad feeling this level's not gonna bother to give us any one-ups. Oh no. Dude, pick it up, dude. I don't have time for this. Yep. Yep, that's all on me. Yeah, it's uh, that sucked, because uh, it was my fault for missing it the first Well, I mean, it's my fault entirely. But if we want to blame other people, which yes, I do, I'm going to say that, well, I missed it on that initial grab, because I jumped over it. The second grab, I really thought I would have picked it up. Okay. To be honest, I got so focused on that red coin, I kind of forgot we were, like, going for the pow block. Oh my god, that was really close. Oh no. Oh, jump. Oh, why would you do this? Did you make this part of your level? Uh. Okay. Back and back and back. Very unlikely that we have the time. Is that a crouch jump? That's a hell of a jump to put it near the end of your level, too. 50 second speed run is something of that nature. Probably don't really have any time to dawdle. Oh. oh, that was such a bad jump. I felt it in my head. I think it just instantaneously gave me a headache. It was so bad. Oh, killy dokily. Got it. Nailed it. Amazing. You're a god. Everybody loves you. Greatest player ever. Eat your heart out, Grand Pooh Bear. Better than Barb. Just kidding. I know they won't ever see this, but on the off chance that they would someday potentially see this for some reason. Just joking. Oh, I got a spin jump, right? Can you, wait, can you spin jump on saws and do Super Mario Brothers? I really don't know, dude. That jump's so long. If you can't spin jump on it, I don't know how you would be able to get it. I'm confused. If we don't beat this level on Endless, I'm gonna go try and beat this level on, uh, from my recently played levels. I did it again. God dang it, dude. Come on. There's still time. There's still time. There's still time. There's still time. I'll do this. Still time. Once you get thrown off, it's just just no saving it dude once you like lose that timing just like no getting it back it's like when you start to trip and you try and catch yourself you just can't like once you've started to trip you're just like you're going down like there's no recovery you try and you struggle and you feel for a brief moment like oh maybe i'm gonna catch myself and it'll be okay it's not it never is it always is bad Nailed it, super easy. First part, amazing. One, two, triple jump. Got it. I'm so good. Totally on track. You can't spin jump on it. I don't know what to do. I think it's literally a perfect crouch jump, which is what we ran into earlier. Is this another Japanese level? Got all the makings of a Japanese level. Long speed run filled with one block high piranha plant jumps, new Super Mario Brothers, and then perfect crouch jumps. I actually don't know how to get past this. This is another Japanese level. I'm telling you, chat, 
the Japanese levels all like so many of them have these same mechanics behind them I don't know what it is about the Japanese Mario making community that makes them love these particular mechanics so much but they do and they're into it I actually don't know how to get past the saw jump I feel like I'm starting to think there is a mechanic at play here that I genuinely don't know Maybe the same mechanic from uh, earlier that I was talking about in an earlier episode. Remember, I've recorded all these at once, so if you told me what to do on that previous episode and I'm still not doing it, it's because that is probably two weeks from the date that I've recorded this actual episode. Can I jump and then spin? Like, will that work? Can you do that? I don't think you can. I don't think there's enough time. Like, can I jump and then try and do, like, one spin in the air to give myself a little more hang time? I, uh, I just don't know. This level's got me perplexed. I genuinely not sure how to beat it. I always hate to lose the Mario Maker levels because it's, like, I'm not sure if I'm doing something right. Uh, or, like, if it's just a mechanic I don't know. And there's always that toss-up because there are a lot of like more advanced level mechanics that I just don't even know Like I still learn that stuff on stream months later, especially never having played original Mario Maker You know, I think that does put me at a disadvantage. There's a lot of really specific Kaizo Things that a lot of average players learn because they played Mario Maker 1 or even because they used to watch Kaizo levels back in the day And I've never really was into either of those things. So that's kind of rough I liked watching Mario Maker 1 streams, but I mostly just watched like the big YouTubers play the really insanely difficult levels. I didn't get as much into the community. There's got to be something different to do there. Maybe it is just a crouch jump. I Crouch jump seems like the most reasonable option to me. Crouch jump seems like the only option that I could reasonably believe. Well, it's like such a perfect crouch jump at that point. It's just, it's like, why? Why you do this, Japan players? Why are you so into this specific jump? And I feel like this one's practice, but like all that one shows me is that like I'm not making it without bumping my head. I I don't know, dude. I I'd be willing to come back to this episode, or not to well to this level. I mean, if somebody could tell me how to do it or show me how to do it, I just I'm I'm perplexed. I'm at a loss. It's the exact same problem I ran into on that muncher jump. I, I think it's something I just... Maybe some, like, specific... Backwards or crouch jump thing that I don't know... How to do? Is it a long jump? Wait, can you, you can't long jump in this version, right? No, you can just spin jump. What is it, then? If it was a long jump, it would make sense. It's just gotta be a perfect crouch jump. Oh, I did that wrong. I'm surprised I did not die. Whatever. These levels are all getting very samey. These Japanese speedrun levels. I really do think it's weird how often I play one of these levels that operate under these same mechanics and they always seem to be from Japan. I just have like, they definitely have a community for this game that is very into certain tricks. I think it's the same. I think like Americans are really into like shell jumps and Kaizo levels more and then you get a lot of this from like the Japanese side. I, to be fair, I think some of the Kaisos are definitely... That was definitely way too early. Can I can I crouch jump and then spin in the air? Can I do both of those options? Is that uh, is that a one-two punch that I'm not aware of? Maybe that's what I need to do. The problem is there's like I can't really practice it unless I leave this level, like go into creator mode for a second and try and practice it. All right, let me see here. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. So it must be that. Okay, so maybe it's a crouch jump with a spin, all perfectly timed. So um, let's try to get there and give it a try, I guess. I tried to hit that power block and it threw me off rhythm. It's all about the rhythm, chat. You gotta feel the rhythm in me, the rhythm in you. I start to hear that noise so much at the beginning of every level, it literally means nothing to me anymore. That's why, like, sometimes when I'm playing a level and it it's a speedrun level, I kind of forget it's a speedrun level. Because I literally just tune that noise out now. I, I, I hear it and see it so much after playing this game. 
so many levels or quote unquote speed runs or 100 seconds or whatever just means nothing to me i feel nothing chat i'm dead on the inside hey -oh. one two three i also see bro that is it that's it that's what i was supposed to do with the muncher too i bet that makes sense now all right so now this level feels like it's possible to be beaten we're already at 15 minutes though i'm gonna give it a couple more tries though god dang it dude a couple more good tries i hope okay chat campers i'm gonna need you to believe i need you to believe so hard that it transcends the barriers of time and space and gives me the power to beat this level okay because that's how hard i need you to believe i need you to believe so hard that it'll actually come back into time and get back to me the two weeks in the past when i recorded this episode that's how hard you gotta believe right now and i know that seems like a lot of pressure but i know you all grew up watching dragon ball z and i know goku was like i need that spirit bomb energy and i know you raised your arms up in the air and you gave that fictional character your spirit bomb energy so that he could defeat frieza in cell in majin Buu. and man they overuse that stupid spirit bomb mechanic a lot did the spirit bomb literally ever work did the spirit bomb ever kill a single person they use the spirit bomb against every enemy and it like literally always misses it's like a glass cannon shot where it takes like 10 minutes it takes like 10 minutes to power up it takes forever like he just gotta stand there powering up for like ever totally vulnerable like an idiot while all his friends are dying then on top of that oh my god uh it's slow as hell when he fires it too like he fires it and it's just like a slow meandering blast and then i feel like it never works like it always misses or something dumb oh my god i did it i did it chat i'm amazing I don't know if I'm supposed to wear this or throw this. I don't know what's happening. I still don't know if I was supposed to keep that or not. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. I don't know what's happening. We're probably going to run out of time because I feel like I'm not going fast enough. Okay, guess you're supposed to wear the helmet. I hate that. You're like... I guess I didn't need to use it where I used it, and that should have been my clue that it was going to be something totally necessary. But it's hard with split-second timing on your first way through the level to know, like, specifically where you have to do something. Become a lot better at that mechanic, at least, so that's cool. See, chat, it's just about figuring it out, though. You know, that's what's so hard about it. No! It threw me off on the timing because they were red and they were going faster and I jumped too early. Feels like there really is supposed to be something there, you know? So that's gotta be the end of the level, I guess. And then you have to like, perfectly damage boost through the end. What are we at? We're at 18 minutes, chat. So it's gonna probably be the last episode I recorded of this because this was gonna be enough episodes to get us through my entire break if I if I'm correct. Oh. It's like perfect because we're not in endless anymore and I really want to beat this level. It will just go a little extra long if we need to. I feel like we're right on the cusp of beating this level. We're right there, chat. It's within our grasp. We can feel it. You feel the magic in the air. You're believing, right? God dang it. You're not believing, Chad. I can feel you not believing from two weeks away. That's how hard you're not believing, campers. Absolutely abysmal believing, guys. You hate to see it, all right? You know what? I just, I don't get it, man. You guys would do it for Goku, Naruto, Yusuke Yurameshi. You won't do it for Wigwam when he needs you most, all right? I don't even have superpowers, all right? You believe in Goku? Goku's already basically got superpowers, dog. I missed, I like slightly hit that spin jump too late. You think Goku needs it more than me? 
Goku can fire energy blast and fly and change his hair by yelling really loud. Those are great superpowers. I can't do any of that. Sure, my hair is amazing, but I have to like grow it out and shape it. I don't get to just yell at my hair and make it do stuff. It takes a lot of work to look this good. And I think that's just not fair. Mechanics is actually not that difficult. Still a little rusty at it, because like I'm just learned how to do it, but. Okay. Getting over these guys the first time, pretty easy. There we go. There we go. Okay, chat, this might be the one. Don't screw this up for me by not believing, chat. Don't screw this up for me, chat. That's the one. That's it. He's done it, chat. By God, he's done it. And if we had beaten that during Endless, we would have gotten a lot of one-ups. But we didn't. Whatever. Good level. 20 minutes. I love you guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Click the stream chat. Hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day because you deserve it. I love your beautiful faces and you're all beautiful people. And I will catch you guys soon. If you're seeing this episode, that means I'm probably very close to getting back to a normal streaming schedule if all goes according to plan. Unless I get another job, which you never know. So, see you guys then. I love you. And uh, it's been...